Welcome to my review of One Piece the Movie 6 Baron Omatsuri and the Secret Island, uh, part 2. Now, what we covered in the last part was animation, um, a little bit of the plot. Personally, I don't know how well this review is going. This is my first one. I don't know how well it is, but I think it's alright. Uh, but anyway. When we last left off the Straw Hats, um, Baron Omatsuri was, uh, slowly killing them one by one. And, uh, while well, Luffy's pinned to that rock by arrows, um, when Baron gives him the choice to either die instead of live with the pain of losing his Nakama, Briefs jumps in and helps him by, um, bringing him to his secret base. Literally what he does is that he digs a hole right underneath Luffy and Luffy falls down into it. And, um, the pirate family's there too. And this is where Daisy's special ability comes in. Luffy thinks for sure that, um, his crew's dead. And he doesn't react to anybody until he realize, realizes what Daisy's saying, that she can hear his crew. In other words, they're not dead yet. They aren't dead yet. But they will be if Luffy does not get his tail in gear, go back up there and kick Omatsuri's ass. Which he does. With the help of Baron and the encouragement Daisy gives of telling him that his partners are calling for him, Luffy heads up to the surface and with the help of Brief's little tunnels in the ground, Luffy is able to r dodge the arrows and run around and basically all Luffy does is dodge throughout this fight until a little bit later. I do have to admit the fight scene could have been better, but then again Luffy's facing a guy who can use levitating arrows. You know what, then again, considering Luffy, how Luffy is, I don't think that could be considered an excuse. But... Eventually, Daisy says that the crew's voices are coming from somewhere else. They're not coming from the plant, the little stem thing. Luffy smacks at it. And it bursts in the in the little stem pieces, and Daisy tells him that the uh, voices are coming from somewhere else. And then we get the scariest freaking scene I have ever seen. Now I'm not entirely sure what happens here, but my guess is is that that huge plan is just like a tool for the Lily Incarnation that's on his shoulder, that Baron has on his shoulder, and, uh, that, that stem thing is used to, abs is its tool to absorb things, and then it absorbs it somehow. I don't know, but whatever it is, the Lily Incarnation at this time, um, transforms that cute, happy little flower thing that we normally see on his shoulder to giant, scary as hell, and, um, the Straw Hats are, looks like they're in a pile of, this actually, I don't know why, but this reminds me of Resident Evil. That's what, it, it reminds me of a cartoon version of Resident Evil, this sort of thing. Now, I actually like the scene that comes around this. When Daisy's telling Luffy that, uh, again, telling him again, that she can hear her cr his crew, if, I don't know if it depends on the type of video you have, but if you listen, listen really closely, you can hear all of them calling Luffy. And this is where the pirate, f pirate father gets his little debut. He's scared. And, uh, Daisy Colt tells him he's strong and that he heard everything he was talking about to Chopper earlier. I'm, I'm trying not to spoil everything related to the movie. Um, 
And, um... Basically, the Pirate Father's one thing is that he always wants his children to think that he's strong. And this is a bit emotional for him. And he agrees with Daisy, grabs a nearby bow and arrow, and runs towards him, and points the arrow, and, uh... Meanwhile, throughout all this, Luffy was recently shot in the back with, I don't know, would all of you say a dozen or so arrows? He's got like a dozen or so arrows protruding out of his back from the recent attack that Baron did. Um, and he, the pirate father freezes, but he does manage to shoot the arrow hit Lily Incarnation, and bl and blast it to pieces! And while Baron, meanwhile, is getting upset, scooping up the organs of the thing, Luffy steps up and gives his trademark punch! And sends him flying! And this is where- this is the part where we learn about, um, about his crew. His crew, I guess, talks to him from beyond the gra grave and tell him that um, they were okay about him getting new Nakama. It's never said if he's if he dies from this or something. It's, it's never said. A lot of things, I will admit in this movie, certain things just aren't really put into light. Like, um... Uh... Are the... Crew members we see that are a part of Baron's crew, are they reincarnated from plants? Did uh, Lily Incarnation use their bodies along with the plants and stuff? It, that's never voiced, um, along with, um, you know, why are briefs and the fa pirate family still there? Did they recently get there or something? But then again, Brief said it's been a couple of years, so... Something just... That's the uh, drawback, I guess you could say, this movie. Certain things that viewers would like to have cleared up aren't cleared up or... Or just not given detail in. But anyway... Um... After this, uh, we see Luffy lying on his back, heavily wounded. And we're wondering, where's the Straw Hats? Where are they? Didn't Luffy save them? And sure enough, there they are. And it was one whole big nap for them. They don't even remember what the hell happened. Now, frankly, I think the ending could have been a lot better. All it did was, all it had was all of them looking down at Luffy and then Nami, um, t asking him why the hell he was lying on the ground and then he laughs. Personally, I think the ending could have been a little more emotional, you know. The whole thing with Luffy almost losing his crew, you'd think that it could be a bit more emotional in that sense. Uh, but I guess in that case, I don't think Luffy would possibly break down in front of his crew, but honestly, I think the ending could have been better. I guess the ending is a bit of a, is a drawback. But anyway, those are some of my thoughts. Basically, the plot to this movie is different from the usual happy-go-lucky One Piece. It's, uh... It's a bit freaky. It's dark. It, um... Puts the loyalties of the Straw Hats to the test. Um... And I seriously hope... That since Funimation, I hear they're doing one of the One Piece movies right now. I think it was movie 8 or 9. But, um... I've only seen a few of the One Piece movies. They're doing... I know Funimation's doing one of them. But, um... Yeah, you know what? I really hope they do One Piece movie 6.